all right welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial uh well first in the last tutorial we um made some changes to our um, registration process and what we, information needs to be passed in and we also generate this url dynamically now so if you haven't seen that go ahead and take a look at that um but in this tutorial we will allow um, this registry test and any other names that are under services any API names we will allow that to have um, multiple instances running so we can have uh, one running uh, one instance running on port 3002 then we can have another instance running on port 3003 and as many as we want we'll register all of those under this registry test um, API name and this will be just some added functionality for scaling just in case you want to run multiple instances of your api service so in order to do this it will take some a couple of significant changes one would be that the way we're storing this this won't be just one object anymore is actually going to be a list so let's go ahead and do that and handle that now so we're going to have our list under here so as we see now, registry test is now a list of configurations here. So um, under this, we will be able to add a completely new configuration. So it'll be like this, but then it'll have like 3003 or whatever. This is how we'll do it. and. Obviously, this can change the the port can change to become run on a different server. Right now, it doesn't look all that useful, but it's possible that we could be running this on a completely different server. That's why we need all of these different things here. So, let's go ahead and add this functionality. So, the only place we really would need to change anything is in our routes in index.js file in the register. So when we register, now we just need to um, add this as a addition to a list. Instead of setting it just to equals, we will be pushing this onto a list. So this uh, services registration info API name is returning a list now. So we can just say dot push. And now we're putting it on to appending it to that list. So now um, when we add one, it's just going to add it to the list. But there's an issue with that. If we want to add um, one that's the same as this one, we should not be able to add it because there's already um, an instance running on port 3002 on this server. So we don't want to be able to add that. So the way we'll do this is we will add a check to see if this registration info that's being passed in is already registered if it is then we won't run this if it isn't then we will run this to add it so let's go ahead and add this if check above the registration check down i mean the registration addition down there so we're going to say if api already exists now this is a, a function that we haven't created yet, but we will in a few seconds. So we're gonna say registration info, it's gonna pass in the registration info. So if this already exists, then we're going to tell ret uh, return already exists. So this is pretty much, we're just gonna send back to the user, hey, this already exists for this configuration. And then otherwise, we'll just run the usual, what we've already been doing. So if it doesn't exist, then it's fine to go ahead and add it. All right. So here, we don't have to do anything. We just have to pretty much return this if it doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and just do a quick return, and then we'll handle this API already exists method. All right. So we're going to say res.send. And then we're going to say configuration already exists for, and then we're going to put 
the registration info dot API name so once we get the API name we're going to add and then we'll add the hosting port so it's going to be registration info plus oh no no registration info dot host plus colon plus registration info dot port all right so now oh let me add the ending okay so now we have this all set up and I think the way I want to do this is I'm actually going to do it like this make it a little a little nicer if we actually set this up up here so we're going to create the URL at the top so I can just use that here so I don't have to do all this concatenation here Actually, I still need those. I just need that right here. I can just say URL. So now I'm using the URL to put that out instead of having the host and the port and all that stuff there. All right. So this will return this if it is if it already exists. Otherwise, it's just going to go through the normal thing and create it. So now let's go ahead and create this API already exists method. We're going to do that down here. So I'm going to create this function here. I'm going to use arrow function. And then we can pass in the registration info. All right. All right. So now in this API already exists function, we can go ahead and we need to loop through each one of these instances that are here. So as we can see, it's a list. So uh, there will be more instances in here. We have to loop through each one and then check if the URL matches with uh, the URL of the uh, registration info. If it does, then we return true. If it doesn't, then we'll return false. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to set up a exists variable to hold our answer pretty much. So it's going to be false to start off with. And if it equals, we'll turn it to true. And then we'll just return this exists. All right. So here in between these two, we're going to put our actual check. So we need to loop through. Um, oh, we need to do this from the registry. Registry services. And then we need to get the registration info and then we're going to get the API name and then we're going to loop through this array we're going to call these instance so this is going to get each instance of the API name so in here this is one instance and then there'll be more so we're going to loop through each one and as we're doing that, we need to do a check. So we're going to say if instance.url equals 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 registration in oh, oh my gosh. Registration info um, dot URL. So if these two match, then we're going to take exists and set it equal to true. All right. So if these match, if any one of these match, then we're going to set exist to true. And then actually, let's go ahead and do it like this because I want to break because there's no purpose of still going through here if we already have what we need. So we're going to set that and then return. Um, all right. And from here, we're good to go. This should work. Uh, let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to remove this um, instance because I want to set up a new instance. It's still going to be running on 3001, 
but I want to set up a new instance um, running on 3001 and then a new instance running on 3002 just to make sure that we can get multiple in here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to check my server JS to see what the port is. I want to change this to 3001. So this is the fake API. I'm changing the port to 3001 and I'm going to run this. So we're going to run node server.js and now we see this success successfully registered uh, registry test so now if we go here we can see that it is now here and we have the protocol localhost everything's here um, now I want to do the same thing but on well actually I'm going to actually run this again just to make sure that um, our check here um, where is that here you go API already exists I want to make sure that this is actually running correctly so I'm going to run um, the same, the the fake API on the same port just to make sure it's going to give us the correct response. So we're going to run node server.js. We got an error somewhere. What did we get? I believe this is because we are, yeah. Okay, server, okay, the address is already in use. So it's trying to run it, but it's um, already in use. So we have an issue there where uh, it's not even going to let us run it with the same let me try I'm just going to set the port directly right here in the um, so the port I'm going to actually change it to 3002 I just want to make sure that the response is um, going to return correctly so we're going to send this request with the 3001 because it already exists so it should return a false but I'm actually changing the real port to 3002 just so we don't get that error on our server now we should be able to see there we go so configuration already exists for at localhost 3001 all right so if we were running this on a different server where the 3001 port was actually available then it'll be fine but since we're running it on the same server we're actually getting an issue um, with our actual server saying, hey, there's already something running on 3001. So it doesn't even let us do it there. But just in case someone's running this uh, manually, we still want to check for that. So we see that that is working. So now I want to stop that. And I will leave this at 3002, but I need to change this back to actually use that port. All right. So let me go here. I'm going to exit out of this. I'm not going to save it because I just want to make sure that we don't have anything else registered. All right, we don't. So now I'm going to register um, this, a new instance of our fake API on port 3002. And let's go ahead and go. All right, successfully registered. Now let's check our registry file and we can see that it is there. So now we have two instances running under this registry test name. So now we have the, uh, the pretty much the URL. All right, in the host and the port and all that. So all of that is there. And um, that's pretty much what we wanted to do. So now we can register multiple instances under one name. All right, um, in the next video, we will be going over how to unregister these um, instances. So we don't have any way to unregister the, the instances once that happens, but uh, we will create an endpoint and do that in the next tutorial. And then after that, we'll probably work on some load balancing or something like that. But um, that's all for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video.